Welcome back to Crafted by Ray. Today I'm going to be doing this unboxing of the CNC. A company reached out to me, Saint Smart, um, a couple weeks ago to see if I'd try this out and tell you guys what I think about it. It's a Gen Minsu 4040 Reno router CNC. I'm going to put it, uh, we're going to open it up, put it together, and do some testing. There will be an affiliate link in the description below, so let's begin. Okay, as you can see, I'm opening the box here, and you know. Everything's well packaged. It did come with a nice chart for bits and uh, feeds and speeds. Here's the rails. There's the uh, 30 degree V bits. The spoiler board. And that was pretty much it. Okay, I just got done opening it up. As you can see, everything was packed really well. I can't imagine anything getting damaged on its way here. Um, now I'm just all ready to install or start putting together. Okay, so far it's just attaching the rails. And we'll tighten these up and uh, start on the next part. Actually, it doesn't seem like there's too much to put together on this thing, which is nice. Okay, there's some things I forgot to mention while I was putting this together. They do make upgrades for this machine, so you can upgrade to a router if you would like. There's different mounts. so. Just check them out and see. I just want to say that the assembly part was pretty easy. It didn't take long at all. Um, I just got to install the drivers and run them on the laptop. But if you have not yet already, this is a good time the video to consider subscribing. Give it a like, share the video. Um, there is an affiliate link in the description below. Okay, I'll have a little clip here of the machine running. But basically, I got it up and running and I had one issue with the Z access. And I talked to customer support and they walked me right through it. So that was easy. Um, as you can see, I did a test cut. But the problem was I messed up and uh, told to go too deep for the 30 degree V-bit. Now I'm using Easel Pro to run this machine, which they also have their own software. I'm just more familiar with Easel because you can use it for multiple machines. And yeah, it's just easier for me. So I'm going to try this again, but I'm going to back it off. I went in an eighth of an inch. I'm gonna go a little bit like half that and see if I can get a better result. And this is on some ash. Okay, one thing I wanted to point out is how cool these clamps are that came with it. You can place this screw right here to set the height of your material. Screw this into one of the threaded inserts in the board, slide it up to your wood, and just tighten it down with the wing nut. Uh, it's pretty neat. The only thing that worries me is they're, uh, they're metal. So I might take some time and make these ones out of wood eventually, or just try to be very careful not to run them into the, the bit. So if you're gonna use easel, all you have to do is make sure the material thickness, it tells you as you go through the prompts, we're gonna make sure everything's clamped down. We're using a 30 degree V bit. We want to use the uh, probe. Now we're going to hit, can, well, I'm going to move it up a little. I got to bring the Z up a little bit. 
All right, now we're just going to confirm we're on top of the material. Now we have to clip the probe. Let me try turning the camera. All right, when it's saying to add the clip to the, uh, oh, I got to bring the Z axis, but you can just clip the, uh, the bit here. Bring the Z up a little bit so the probe fits underneath. Now an easel, it'll say, is clip attached? You click the button and then it says it wants you to touch it to the pad so it knows it has a uh, connection now I'll tell easel to touch the plate there we go now it should be zeroed out just make sure we take that probe and push it out of the way we tell easel that that the probe is put away and we want to set that as our zero so this lets me turn on the spindle which is not very loud it's nice having a, a spindle instead of a router just for that and hit the carve button And we'll check it back on this after uh, in about 50 minutes. Okay, the carving came out, and as you can see, it did not come out great. Um, I found out that, one, my board was slightly tapered down lower, so it was cutting deeper. And I forgot to set the thickness of the probe on my software. So make sure you do that either with the software it comes with the machine or with the XCAR or Easel Pro software. It's really easy to do. I just skipped a step. And as you can see, it was cutting in too deep. Now, I'm going to try. I did some sample pieces on some plywood. I'm going to try cutting these. Um, they're like floor sample pieces that you can get at Home Depot. They're free. Um, they make good coasters. They got like a rubber back on them, and I'm just gonna put my I'm just gonna put crafted by Ray on it. And see how it cuts through it. Um, yeah, they're great little. They're already four inch by four inch coaster. They're uh, waterproof. They got a rubber backer on them after you peel their label off. So I'm gonna use some blue tape and super glue to mount this to the board that I was doing some testing on, and that that should hold where I don't need a clamp. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, I just wanted to say this came out looking great. The detail came out perfect on this tile. I'm going to try something else here in a minute, but I just want to say thanks to Saint Smart for sending me this CNC. And if you help out my sponsors by clicking the link below and buying something from them, that helps support me. And thank you. Now, I'm going to try something else, but I was just thinking how great this would be. Because it's a spindle, it's a little quieter. I could probably take this to the craft shows, maybe make some keychain blanks or something. And then when people want their name on them, I could do it right there at the show. Tell them they'll come back in about five minutes and I'd have it done. That's just an idea. I'll see if I can um, make room for that in my craft shows, but let's go try something else. Okay, I took a piece of plywood and I stained it dark brown so that I could see the contrast a lot better. Now, I'm going to take this image over here. Oh, you probably can't see it, but anyways, let me move this closer. And I have it taped to the machine. Now, right now I'm getting ready to probe it. I'm going to try using the 2-bit program for easel to see how that works. So one bit will go in there and clean out the big pocket. The other bit will go in there and do all the detail. The only difference is, is you get an option on the computer telling you if you're doing the roughing pass or the detail. We're going to be doing the roughing pass. Eighth inch bit. Probe.
put the probe away move it to the back to the corner Okay, as you can see, the detail came out great. Now, this isn't a file I bought. Um, this is just an image I took off Google I found. Um, but if I would have paid for this file or got a better version, I bet you the detail would have been a lot better. Now, if you do end up getting this machine, you can do a lot of little detail because you're using smaller bits, like the 30-degree bait bits it comes with. It came with this whole pack of um, V-bits. So I went through and I looked up on Amazon. I found they had the same company um, sells all these bits. I got, and I that's how I did the, the rough pass because I didn't have a lot of eighth inch bits. I don't think this was very expensive. I can't quite remember. Um, I want to think it was like 20 bucks for a bunch of different end mills. And you get the four different little packs with different sizes uh, for different applications. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, share, and comment. I'll put a couple videos up really quick. Um, if you guys wouldn't mind clicking one of those, that helps the algorithm show that you like my channel. And I'll see you next time with another Crafted by Ray video.